Today, I have an oil pastel set review for you. I'm reviewing the Paul Rubens oil pastels, their new oil pastels. There's a new design and I've never tried Paul Rubens before. I've heard a lot about it, but I don't know much about them other than I've always wanted to try them. So let's get swatching and then we'll talk about it. Here is the set of oil pastel. The packaging can be a bit misleading just because of the name here, but it is actually Paul Rubens oil pastel. It's a set of 48 colors. This is listing all the colors in the different sets. The set of 12, 24, 36, the 48 is what I have. Then there's a set of 60 and a 72 set. This is also very nice. It comes with a little swatch that you can fill in. I'm not going to use it today. I'll use the paper that I usually use for my swatches, which is a mixed media paper. And it gives a good idea of how they perform. So this is interesting. I think the design of the oil pastel stick itself has changed. It's a bullet shape, kind of like the professional Sennelier colors, instead of having a flat tip. Oh, very nice. It feels so creamy. I'm very impressed with the first feel of this. It feels kind of like Sennelier oil pastel so far. The quality seems very nice. Usually pale colors like these can be patchy. And sometimes depending on pigments, I know purples can be tricky and patchy. So we'll see when we get there. But so far, even these pale colors are very nice. Oh, this is my favorite so far. It's so creamy. It would have been nice to have color names. I guess it's just a number probably. It feels super buttery. And they look very pigmented. We're getting into those purples now. This is nice and opaque. So nice. Impressed with this. This one is not as opaque, but it's very, very good. Nonetheless, very good. We're getting into the blue now. Oh, this is so nice. I'll do some um, mixing and blending after this to see how it feels, but so far they feel very soft. Maybe not quite as soft as Sennelier, which is not a bad thing because Sennelier sometimes are too soft. They melt in your hands and it's a, it can be a little bit counterproductive. So these are very, the most buttery I've used after Sennelier. So maybe slightly less, but, but still very, very blendable. They feel very blendable. This looks like it's black, but it's not. It's actually blue, probably a Prussian blue type of uh, color. Very dark navy. Green. See, there are some colors that are, are a bit more patchy, like this, say, compared to this or this. There's a little bit, you see a little bit of paper, it's not as smooth and even, but I'm sure that has to do with the type of natural pigment. Some pigments are naturally more translucent because overall 
most of them are very, very saturated with, with uh, color and very nice looking. Where am I at? This one, this one, this one. Okay, let's do this one. These are very similar, but this one is a little bit more muted. See, this one is a pale color that feels a little bit less saturated or opaque, but nonetheless, it goes on very smooth. It doesn't feel patchy when you apply it. It just feels like the pastel is naturally less opaque. So far, I would say that the greens seem to feel a bit less pigmented. This one is not great. It's the only one so far that I'm not loving. I must say, which color is that? I'm not loving that we can't see the number, to be honest. It should be obvious which color it is. So this one is not my favorite. It feels very patchy and not great to blend. Yeah, overall, a few of the greens are a bit less opaque. This one is great. This one is very nice and opaque. This one is pretty good as well. I love how smooth they are and buttery. It feels nice and fun to use them. This is amazing. I love this one. 032. And here's the black. Nice. I'll do some close ups towards the end. Now I want to try blending some colors together and see how they spread on the paper. Oh my god, this is a dream. Look at this. I'm not working that hard to have this blend together. Impressive. Usually most oil pastels are very hard to spread. Aside from Senelier, these are so easy to spread. So let me add some white which is something I use a lot to get the colors to be not as um, dark but also to get them very blended and to get smooth gradients I love adding white on top of any color very very nice let me add another color to this to really mix colors together and see how it feels I'm gonna add some yellow to this They really mix well together. It doesn't become gummy. It doesn't ball up and remove itself. This is good. Let's go pink. Pink and blue. Let's go pink and blue. Look at that. This is the easiest oil pastel gradient I've ever done, <laughs> ever. One thing that I've noticed many times in oil pastel was to put, that it, I had a hard time putting a dark color over a light color. I would use it the, the other way around. I would always put a lighter color on top of a dark color. So let's do the, the thing where it usually where I usually encounter problems. So I have a light color here and let's put a dark color on top of it and see what it does. 
Is it gonna ball up, become gummy and weird? Oh my god, look at that, it doesn't. It's not bad. It's not, it's, it's very good. Usually it would s stay at this stage and it would never really blend. Going on a, a, with a dark on top of a white or light rather, like it would stay like this. And I would not be able to blend it, but I think if I work it a bit harder here, because um, those pastels are so smooth and blendable, I can get there. It's not perfect, but it's the best I've seen using that technique on, of dark on light. Let me do some close-ups and then we'll talk about it. I went online and I looked at the prices on Amazon. This set, the 48 set, was about $30 US at the time of this video. So it's a very, very affordable set for the quality and performance of those oil pastels. I must say that I'm impressed. It's a first impression. I haven't tried to paint with them a full painting, but in swatching them, I feel like they're so close to Sennelier. You see that the quality in some colors is not quite optimal or as punchy or pigmented or, or opaque or as perfectly blended, but that's only a few colors and it might have to do with the natural pigment like I mentioned, but for the price, a Sennelier stick, one little stick, which is smaller than this stick is around four or five dollars and in Canadian at my local art supply store but this whole set of 48 is 30 US dollars so you get a good good quality oil pastel for the money I find. What I loved the best about them was when I tried blending different colors together. I think it might be the first time that I felt like blending oil pastel was actually easy using only my fingers. I didn't have to work hard at all to create a gradient. It happened by itself. I was impressed with that. Again, I have to test it more to paint a few pieces with it to really get a real feel for it because this is a first impression, but it's a really good price. Will it dethrone my favorite um, Sennelier oil pastel set. I also like the, um, the gallery set, which was a good affordable option with a good quality. The gallery is a lot firmer than this. So I personally find that I like to have a soft oil pastel that is very mov movable and buttery and a firmer oil pastel as well for um, layering and different uh, different textures call for a different um, firmness if you will so i like to have both this is a good smooth a very buttery one i wasn't expecting that if you want to know when my next video will be the only way to know is to go within the bell and click on all notifications to get a notification when I upload my next video. I don't really have a schedule. I have a lot of projects right now. So my upload schedule is a little bit unpredictable. If you don't want to miss any videos, turn on the bell. That's how you'll know when I upload. I'll see you soon. I'm sending you a whole lot of inspiration and happy painting. Thanks for watching.